You know, it's not so much the fact that the police enjoy handcuffing us, throwing us on the ground, on the ground. It's like it's, it's an excitement that they get for any reason whatsoever, including a tail light being out. But what, what the real issue is, the disdain the police have for us, the way that they appear to believe that each and every one of us are a criminal that just hasn't been caught. And nothing shows this more clearly than this video. So here we are in Chicago, Illinois, the Windy City, where you really want to be fast and windy if you want to stay safe from the police there. We got a guy, so he's going along the road, he has a tail light out. Okay, and he also uh, forgot to use his turn signal. So he pulls into the gas station and the cop walks up to him. Now there's a couple of lessons in here and it's something that really pisses off the police but it's something I'm gonna point out in this video that you all need to really understand and it's for your own safety. You know, this world is not about the police's safety, you know, over everything else. It's about your safety too. and. With the number of shootings and deaths and just the police pretty much in fear for their life all the time, it behooves you to, to cover your own rear rent. Here, let, let me show you what I'm talking about. What's up, man? You got a driver's license? Why? I'm because you didn't use your turn signal to come in here and your plate light is out. My turn signal was on. No, it's not. Dude. And my plate, my so plate you know, light is out? Yes. You got a driver's license? Oh my oh God. Are you serious yeah, right just now? Just so you know, you're being recorded with audio and video. Huh? You're being recorded with audio and video. Can okay, you lower that window down, please? Like, you what is... I'm not... What is going on? Just oh lower that God. window Are down. Are you serious right now? Yeah. Keep in mind, when you're being pulled over by the police, the first thing that you want to do before the police approach your car is to lock all your doors and roll up your windows. Keep the passenger side window about two to three inches. There are no laws that say that you have to roll down your window all the way. There's two reasons that the cops are doing this, all right? One is a control issue. The second is they want to be able to reach in your door should they need to or should they feel like it, unlock your door, Unlock, open the door and drag your butt out of the car. And you're going to see here, I mean, the guy's not violent. He doesn't seem intimidating in any way whatsoever. But you're going to see that that's actually his real reason, is that he wants to search that car. And he wants to put this man in cuffs. You'll see. I didn't tell you to get out of the car, did I? Are you serious right now? I just pulled into the gas station to get some gas. That's fine. Keep your hands up. Are you serious hands right now? Up. Yeah. What are you... What? Are you serious Stop right now? moving, dude. Are you Why are you moving? Serious? Oh my God, are you serious Stop right moving. now? Stop moving. Are you serious Stop moving. Are you serious Stop right now? Stop, Stop, Stop moving. Are moving. we clear? Stop are you moving. serious? Stop moving. Stop moving. Get your are you off. serious? Let me see your hands. Are you serious right now? Hang on, dude. Are you serious? Where are you... Are you moving. serious? Oh my God! Are y'all serious? Now you cough. Now you are y'all serious? Now you're going to jail. Are y'all serious right now? Are you serious? He's fine, man. You can keep going about your business. Get me out the car for no, no reason. reason. Now you can tell right there, the cop has a dismissive quality. Remember, we're just civilians. We're not above the law. We're not the elite. And I want to also point out that the cop had no reason whatsoever to search him. Remember, for a search, which is called a Terry search, okay, if you leave your vehicle, you're eligible for what they call a Terry search. Well, one, the officer needs to know or have a belief that you are armed. And there's a second part to it, that you are also dangerous. I do not see any way whatsoever this a man appeared to be dangerous. Being pulled over for failing to use a turn signal and a light being out is not reasonable suspicion to do a search in any way whatsoever. This is just pure harassment, pure fishing by the police, a pure way that they think that they might get a bust. I pulled into the gas station. 
And then you slam me to the ground and try to break my fucking arm? Are you serious? Hey! Shut up already! No, you shut the fuck up! Damn! Y'all just... Get out of here! Get out of here! Go! That's it! You don't know what's going on, alright? You don't, he could be a fucking felon or murder or something, right? You don't know what's going on, man. Relax! That's right, move along. We don't need any witnesses here because we don't want any witnesses. And I've got access to this dash cam and my body cam. Now, guys, it is your civic duty as Americans with the world the way that it is and our police state the way that it is to record any incident that you see with the police. It's your civic duty. We all have to cover everybody's rear end. We have to help each other, and this is what we do as Americans. It has already been ruled by the Supreme Court that you can film the police. They can't stop you, and they can't make you move along. Film them. Hey, Mr. Corey. Uh, judging by your attitude and your behavior, I'm kind of worried about your mental health. Boy, if you don't get out of here, my mental health. Yes, the way you're taking off your I'm clothing. I'm a junior in college. How, what the heck is mentally wrong with me? I don't Please know. I'm know. asking. Cause no, you're, you're just trying to... No, no, no. no. It's all on camera. I'm not hiding anything. All right? You've been profiling me since. What are you, you talking about? You guys drove past me and then go talk about some my um my license plate light is out. Boy, get out of here with that bullshit ass excuse for pulling somebody over. Well, you're over here taking your clothing off. He told me to take Telling me that your shoulder is dislocated when I have to say that. I said my elbow. No, you said your shoulder. I never said my shoulder. I said okay. my elbow. But clearly you can move your hand and you don't see any pain. Can you leave me alone? Can I get somebody new? No. I don't want to talk to you, so. Well, I'm sorry, this is what you get. I'm just. So actually, yeah, his arm was fractured. Uh, they came back and they proved it. And here's the interesting part. Now, you see, he's sitting in jail for resisting arrest when what it was was he didn't want to be searched, which is his constitutional right to only be searched with his permission. But of course, yes, he's now a ris uh, resisting arrest. Well, I'm not going to talk. So. Okay, well, we're, like I said, we're and concerned about not, your mental health. Mental hospital, so. Well, I'm sorry. That's our decision. Guys, again, if you want to see the full, complete, and uncut version, uh, take a look in the description. You'll see a link that'll take you to the full story. I recommend that you read the full story. It's really kind of interesting, you know, exactly what occurred with this. A lot of it you won't believe, but, you know, I, I want to bring something up real quick. You know, this is America. I, I, I had to double check if Chicago was still part of America after watching this video. You know, this is stuff that you see, like, in Mexico. You know, and, and yeah, this happens a lot in Mexico. But you know what? It happens a lot here. And all of these immigrants want to come here so they can get the same treatment. People, it's, it's most, it's disgusting is the best way to put it. Guys, make sure to subscribe. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Uh, that's at Studio News Net. And make sure to subscribe to the website. Guys, have a good day. Oh, and by the way, if you follow me on Twitter, I'll follow you back. John Masters. Real life police encounters. Know your rights when dealing with the police. Empower yourself by knowing the law.